If you want to be successful with whatever you're doing, whether that be dropshipping or any other hustle, then building healthy habits is absolutely crucial for both personal and professional growth. That's why in this video, I'm going to be giving you seven healthy habits that make millionaires. Now, all of these are habits that millionaires are currently implementing into their day to day lives to help them succeed in pretty much anything that they do. All right. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and run that intro and let's start building some healthy habits. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS and welcome back to another video. In this channel, we cover anything and everything dropshipping related, including some of the best tips and tricks for your business to continue growing. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, just a quick tip, one of the healthiest habits that you can build is actually watching our videos on a day to day basis so you can continue learning more about your business and growing. Now to go along with this video, I also have a quick and easy to reference cheat sheet. If you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag millionaire habits along with which one of these habits you intend to implement into your day-to-day -day lives so to kick off today's healthy habit countdown the first habit that we're going to be talking about is putting your phone on airplane mode whenever you're working or you need to focus on something one of the biggest distractions that we have in our lives to this day and probably for the foreseeable future are phones whether it be a phone call a text message a notification from one of our social media profiles or whatever it may be the fact of the matter is our phones are constantly going off and distracting us and making us lose focus. And I don't know about you, but when I'm in the zone and I'm focusing on something and I really need to get something done, if a little distraction comes my way and makes me look away, then it's going to take me quite a bit of time to get my head back in the game and get back into focus mode. Now, if you need your phone, then that's totally understandable. Some people just can't have their phone on airplane mode because they have important calls or important messages. In this case, there's a little workaround that you can do. And this is actually one that I personally started implementing because it really does help and it works. So if I show you my phone really fast, you can see that everything here is actually on full grayscale mode. There is absolutely no color. Now there's a huge reason behind this. Colors are super flashy and they're meant to catch your attention. So putting your phone in grayscale mode actually just makes it super boring and bland. It really doesn't keep your attention. It doesn't keep your focus. And when you're working, it kind of makes you just not even want to look at your phone. Now it is important to make it a point to not look at your phone, even if you do have it in grayscale mode. The reason is because even if you do pick it up when it's on grayscale mode, you're still going to lose focus. So it could be optimal for you to take maybe a 15 minute break every two or three hours to look at your phone, look at your messages and answer back to what's really important. But that's about it. Leave it on grayscale mode and don't start going through Instagram. Don't open up Facebook. Just answer the important messages, answer any important phone calls and get back to work. The next millionaire habit that we're going to talk about is setting daily goals to take action. This is a fairly easy one for this. What you're going to need to do is either go to the store or just go online. So you're going to get either a daily planner a wall calendar or just an online calendar. And you're going to fill it with daily tasks or daily or even weekly goals that are ultimately going to lead up to a bigger goal. Breaking down your goals into separate day to day or weekly tasks can really help make your final goal, your really big one, a lot more manageable and a lot more easier to attain. This can help you stay organized and more importantly, it can help you stay motivated because as you're completing these day to day tasks, you're going to have a visual representation of your progress. So every single day, you're literally going to be one step closer to your goal. Now, as a quick tip within those daily goals, try to set aside some time for some tasks to be able to focus on your bad habits. Try to find out what you're doing that could be destructive to your progress, or if not destructive, whatever you're doing that could potentially delay it and start writing that down. Next up, we have journaling. Now, this is something that pretty much everybody tells you to do, but you kind of look at it and you think, do I really need to do that? Well, realistically speaking, you don't need to do it, but it is a very good habit to start picking up. Before we get into the specifics of journaling, I do want to mention that everything that I'm covering in this video, all of the habits that I'm talking about are fairly subjective. Some of these could work for some people while some of these won't. Really, it's all about personal preference, testing out the different ones and seeing what works best for you. But ultimately, don't knock it till you try it. You might be surprised surprised by some of the results you get by implementing some of these habits into your routines. Some people might look at journaling and think, I don't like that. That's not for me. But then they try it out and then they realize this is absolutely amazing. It makes me feel so much better being able to write down my thoughts, to be able to track some progress or to just get some stuff off my chest. So when it comes to journaling, that is actually one of the best things that it's used for to be able to keep track of progress. So whenever you reach a certain milestone, you can go ahead and write that down. So that way in the future, if you're feeling down, if you're not really feeling optimistic, or if you feel like you're stuck, you can go ahead and look at the things that you've written prior to this, read some of your personal success stories, and that helps build your motivation and it helps
helps keep you going. Now, regarding journaling, the last point that I want to cover is the fact that you don't have to do it every single day. Some people get caught up on the thought that at the end of every day, they need to write their thoughts down. A lot of the times, that's not the case. While it is important to start implementing this habit and start working or practicing with it, it's not necessarily the end of the world if you miss one or two days of not putting an entry into your journal. This next millionaire habit is one that I absolutely love and I actually find quite entertaining. And I'm talking about reading a book every single day. Now, I know you might be looking at me right now thinking this guy is absolutely crazy. I don't have time to read a book every single day. And trust me, I 100% understand and I get it because neither do I. So that's why this particular habit, we're actually going to split into two different variations. So the first variation is going to be read a book every day. And the second one is going to be one that's a bit more convenient, and that's listen to an audiobook or a podcast every day. Now, when I say read a book or listen to an audiobook every single day, I don't mean an entire one because we all know that's pretty physically impossible. Most of the time, there's not enough time in a day to get through an entire book. So you want to choose a book or an audiobook or a podcast and break it down to sections. So if you know you have a long commute, instead of listening to music, put on the audiobook. Or let's say you have a shorter commute, maybe a 10 or 15 minute one, then you can put on a podcast that you can finish throughout the entire commute. Now, as a quick example, if you want some good podcasts that you can listen to full of information on dropshipping, then you can check out our podcast section over at autods.com. The link to that is going to be in the cheat sheet. So once again, remember, if you want access to that, all you have to do is comment down below hashtag millionaire habits, along with which one of these habits you intend on implementing. Now, this next millionaire habit is one that can really help make your day to day processes or whatever you're doing a lot more efficient. And I'm talking about looking for more efficient ways to do things or building efficient shortcuts. Now, unfortunately, even though some people make it seem that there are, there are no shortcuts to wealth and financial independence, but there are shortcuts to day to day tasks. There are ways to make your day to day processes a lot more efficient. Take dropshipping and product research, for example. Product research can take a lot of time. It takes time to start looking for different products, researching their benefits, testing them out, ordering a sample. And overall, it's just a pretty time consuming process process, especially when you're doing product research for multiple products. In cases like this, there's always different ways to make this process a lot more efficient. For one, you can check out YouTube. All you have to do is go ahead and type in best products to sell for X niche or for summer, maybe for Halloween, and you're going to get tons of different videos with some of the best product suggestions. Another option you have is just go on over to our YouTube channel and click on the playlists button. Once you're on there, you're going to see a playlist called sell these now. That playlist is full of trending and winning items that you can add to your dropshipping stores. Now, pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, there's always a cheat sheet attached to our videos and product videos are no exception. There's always a cheat sheet attached to those types of videos. Now, in one of our previous videos, we suggested to sell this hooded fleece. It's a trending product. People love it. It comes in quite a few different variations, a few different colors, and it's just a fun product to have around the house and it's super comfortable to wear. People love it. Now, if you wanted to add this item to your dropshipping store, then you would have to save all of the different pictures, copy the title, copy the descriptions, take note of all of the different variations, and then you would have to copy or upload all of that information to your store and then optimize the description optimize the title, make sure it's easy to read, and finally calculate your profits and see how much you're going to sell it for. Now that in itself sounds like a pretty long process, which realistically speaking, it can be or it can't be. It all depends on the product that you're uploading and how much editing and optimizing that you have to do. Now, let's say you have minimal changes or minimal edits that you have to do. Adding one or two, maybe three or four, it's not a big deal. It'll take you maybe an hour or so. But when you really want to start adding multiple products, let's say you're adding 15 or 20 different products and you have some heavy editing to do, then it's going to get pretty time consuming. These are the times that you want to start implementing that habit we just spoke about. This is when you want to start looking for more efficient ways to do things. So check this out. Case in point here, we're going to go ahead and copy over the description. So I'm just going to simply copy this. So I'm going to right click and copy. Then I'm going to go to my platform over at platform.autods.com. Here, all I have to do is click on add products. I'm only going to do one right now. So we're going to click on single product and I'm going to paste in the URL. As you can see, the supplier source here is under AliExpress, which is the supplier that we chose for this one. And it's shipping from China. Now let's just click on edit now. Remember that we discussed earlier when importing different products, you're going to have to manually copy everything over, which can get super time consuming. Now, if we look back at the screen, you can see that everything is actually already copied over for us. So here we can see that the title has been copied over. The description was also copied over all of the different variants and 
all of the different images. Here we just saved a ton of time for the simple fact that this item has a lot of different variations. Now let's say I wanted to add maybe 10 or 15 different products. Then we can either individually add each item the same way we just did, which is pretty quick, but it can take a bit longer than we need it to. And then the other option we have is simply to go back to add products. And this time, instead of selecting single product, we select multiple products. Now here I can go ahead and paste the URL for the first one, press enter the URL for the second one and continue on until I have all of the different products I wanna import. Once I have this filled up with all of the different links, then all I have to do is click on add as draft and all of the items will be imported to my store within minutes. Now this next habit is probably one of the easier ones to implement, but it's one of the harder ones to to keep up with, and that's keeping an optimistic mindset. Now, the reason I say that this is one of the harder ones to keep up with is because the way somebody's mind works is always gonna vary from person to person. So it's not as easy as just telling somebody, oh, cheer up, things will get better, or keep your chin up, business will come sooner or later. This really varies from person to person. So it's always important to try to keep an optimistic mindset. Trust the process and trust yourself that you're putting in the work that you need to get done. Sometimes it could take longer to achieve a certain goal, but that doesn't mean that you're not making progress. Slow progress is always better than no progress, but slow progress can also lead some people to think that they're not making any progress. So always try to keep a positive attitude, keep a positive mindset, always trust the process. If you start journaling, write down your milestones, write down your successes. Looking back at that will help you stay positive. And the biggest benefit to positive thinking and staying optimistic is the fact that when things get tough, this mindset will help you keep going. So this next and final habit that we're gonna cover is one that absolutely everyone should be implementing. It's easy to do and it doesn't really take much time. And I'm talking about taking walks or just general overall exercise. Implementing this habit into your day-to-day -day routine or maybe two or three times a week can really help you start clearing your mind and have clearer thinking. Most people's aha moments come when they're actually taking a walk, when they're not really focusing too much on the issue and just have their mind freely thinking. Overall, this is a healthy habit that pretty much anyone should be already implementing into their day-to-day -day routines. But if you're not, this is your wake-up call. Start doing it. Start taking walks. If you can, start taking a run or just overall start getting some exercise. Remember that a healthy body and a healthy mind go hand in hand. And that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Remember to comment down below, hashtag millionaire habits, along with which one of these was your favorite habit that you intend on implementing into your routines. Once again, my name is Mario without a DS and I thank all of you for being here with me today. I wish all of you nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses. I'll catch you all in the next video.